And they stayed that way early. Top third, no score. Runners at the corners. A.J. Hinch. Contact! Three run homer to left off Brian Rose. That's now 17 straight games in which the A's have homered. And 35 of the last 36. That was the sixth of the year for Hinch. 3-0 Oakland. But the Red Sox battle back down 5-3. They have the bases loaded. It's a full count. There are two outs for Brian Dahlback. So it's a meaningless pop-up. But Hinch, a late break from behind the plate, and he can't get there. So Dahlbach gets new life. That's not what you want to do, considering how hot he is. So Tim Morell in to pitch him again, and Dahlbach says, I am the American League Player of the Week. If it's fair, it's gone, but it's foul. Instead of a game-winning grand slam, Dahlbach can't believe it, but watch his composure. One more time, Morell, Dahlbach. You will not get me off the wall and left. One run is in. Two runs are in. Here comes Offerman with the game winner, and he's in there. And Brian Dubek, whoopee! The Red Sox win it 6-5. to five. Doug Jones has now blown 7 of 14 in displaying defense. Unlike A.J. Hinch, out of the First box clean, side, off the Brian McRae foul, well, and the slide. Style points because it was right in front of the cameras. Oh. Wilson also had two RBI on the day. Speaking of RBI, A-Rod, well you know, ball. consistency well is very important. Goodbye, That's the baseball. fifth straight game with a home run for A-Rod, his 32nd Holy of the year. He's averaging a run scored level. and an RBI per game this for Roberto Kelly. Kelly grounds to third, and Carlos Baerga making his debut, and uh, no, can't quite get it out of the glove. Charged with the error, Rusty Greer scores 2-0 Tejas. Top seven tied at five. I'm going to pinch hit Rafael Palmero here, and that would be an excellent decision. Way back and gone, a three-run job is 31st. Pudge also had a pair, and the Rangers win at 13 to 5. Five homers in the game for the no score, one out. One on and nobody out. Doug Mankiewicz to Tino, and he bobbles it just in time for a perfect double play. Roger Clemens says, you bet. Bottom seven, Eric Milton, who went to the Twins in the Chuck Knobloch deal. Derek Jeter, no. Milton with six Ks. No runners for either team went to second through seven innings. And then the eighth, Shane Spencer, bloopage. It drops Jorge Posada, who was on second, comes in to score, and the Yankees win it two to nothing. Clemens wins number 11, giving up only four hits. Alavine facing Frank Thomas. Thomas going for a ride with Jim Edmonds. Comedy, much like center field. Timing! Great grab and brings it back. Take another look. Edmonds, you go, boy. And the White Sox win at 6-1. to one. Paul Canerco's 17th homer, part of a four-run fourth. As did Jose Hernandez, who in the top of the first, with two on, rips one to right field. Brian Jordan scores. Larry Walker trying to get Andrew Jones at the plate, but Andrew Jones slides in safely, and the Braves are up 3 nothing. Top of the third. Braves up 5 nothing. No outs. One on for Eddie Perez against Bobby Jones, and Perez busts out the whooping stick. Third home run of the season. He'd hit his fourth later on. Braves up 7-0, win it 14-6. So one night after knocking in the game-winning run in Los Angeles, Hernandez knocked in five as the Braves became the 36th opponent to reach double figures in runs and Hell was dealing. Bottom of the second, Damian Jackson swinging. Bottom of the third, Chris Gomez looking. Bottom of the fifth, Wally Jorner. Insertion swinging Dotel a no hitter through six. The Mets have never had a no hitter thrown for them. They've been in business since 1962. Top of the seventh, the leadoff walk to Tony Gwynn, followed by a walk to John Vanderwall. Next batter, Phil Nevin, looking for that hit to break up the no hitter, and he got it. A three run shot. So Dotel loses the no hitter, shut out, and lead all in one fell swoop. But this game went into extras when Edgardo Alfonso busts out the whooping stick for the third time in four games to provide the game winner. How hot is Alfonso? How hot are the Mets who win 4-3-10? and 10? Armando Benitez came on for his 14th save to close it out. Andy, Sammy Sosa, no sir. 100 mile per hour fastball, struck him out. Bottom second, D-backs up 2-0. Two on for Randy Johnson. Johnson, well smoked over the head of Sammy Sosa. A two-run double. Andy Fox and Steve Finley will tally. It's 4-0 Arizona. Sosa struck out in his second at bat as well, but in the sixth. Cubs down 6-0. Sammy Sosa, I will not strike out three times. Destroyed to left. The two-run shot, 456 feet. Now, in 1998, Sammy got number 47. August. Jose Lima. Looking. Lima. Eight innings, two hits, three walks, four strikeouts. Retired 14 straight in a row. Bottom of the seventh. Houston up 2-0. Derek Bell with a chopper to Cirillo. But on his way to first, comes up lame. He falls down. You'll see again. It is a groin problem indeed. Pulled his left groin. He's day-to-day. -day. Had to be carted off the field. 
The Astros win the game two to nothing. The Brewers suffered their second straight shutout loss. Early, Zeal's at the plate. No one pitch. Not there. Langston gave up six runs in the first, then left with a strained right quadricep. Bottom one. Indians down six, love Alomar's at the plate. Two on, nobody down. It's nasty. Now, this is a third straight good start by Sealy in which he used both hard sides of the plate, which really made his fastball and curveball much better. One gone for the 28th time. Texas goes up nine zip at this point. It's a three run home. And yeah, we're in the second. Now the Indians down 12 1 Alomar. Opposite way. Watch Tom Goodwin try to track. Greer is there. He climbs the wall and comes up with a great catch. The Rangers pound the Indians by a score of 15 4. And uh, Peter of Texas scored 38 runs in the last two. Miguel Tejada, Brett Saberhagen with two on. 85 mile an hour pitch gets dumped over the monster. His 15th home run, three run shot. Brett Saberhagen, four runs. He left after two innings. His shortest outing in four years. It's not the ball, it's the shoulder. We'll get to that in a second. Gil Heredia and a John Valentin. Heredia went the distance, gave up only 10 hits. Valentin failed with the bases loaded early, and this is not a failure. That's Ben Grieve taking Wakefield for his 21st. 6 1 in favor of the A's. They lost a heartbreaker last night. They didn't allow themselves that opportunity tonight. Scott Spezio joins in the fun. A three-run shot, number five for him. The A's scored eight in the seventh, and they roll big time. The A-Rod, and Henkin throws one right by him. A-Rod, home run streak, ends at five games. Edgars doesn't. Three-run shot, number 17. He came in two for 23 lifetime against Henkin. It's 3 nothing. Here's Junior. Contact. And that pitch is 100 RBIs for Junior. 5 1 in favor of the Seattle Mariners. Bottom seven, Peter at 7 4. Well, they get into a jam. Lupinelli got tired of watching walk, so he goes to Jeff Facero. Keeps bouncing back and forth in the rotation and the bullpen. But Facero still has some inners. He's a free agent who didn't get through waivers. So this is a nice out. He comes in, gets the double play. 6 4 3, gets out of the inning. They win 8 to 5. And we mentioned earlier, this is an awful reflection of the Blue Jays. Disappointment. Bottom of the fourth. Al Leiter facing Chris Gomez. Alfonso charging. And bare hands throws it away. Just his third error of the season. Joyner goes to third. He would later score. Pods up two zip after four. Top nine. San Diego up 3 2. Ricky Henderson. If it's gone, we're tied. It's not gone. Henderson Henderson's on his way to second base. finally starts to run, ends up at second with a double. He's still there when Piazza grounds out to end the game. And San Diego beats the Mets by the final score of 3-2. to two. Woody Williams goes seven-plus strong innings to snap a personal three-game losing streak. He also the runner on third and one out. Gerald Williams makes the catch, but Kurt Abbott tags and scores. Rockies up by the score of 3-2. Top eight, Braves down one. Runners on the corners, one out for Keith Lockhart. And Dave Veers gets him to ground into the four. Six, three, double play. And the Rockies win it 3 2. So just Atlanta's second loss in eight games, but the Braves no score. Sosa to right. Bernard Gilkey efforting. Great effort. Sosa in the game, one for three. The one hit was a single. How about Anderson? Still out there in the ninth. Facing Glenn Allen Hill. A little roller. Anderson fields it. He'll field. He'll fire His the complete game. A shutout. A three hitter as Arizona wins it four zip. Anderson damage. In the seventh, it's scoreless. Until Jim Lair, it's Rock's world, and Johnny Damon couldn't come up with it. Look at Lair, it's hustling into third. That's his first triple in nine years. Literally, Tino's in the game. No triple here. Touch them all. 18th of the year. Yankees five, Royals two. Mike Sweeney goes two for four in the loss. Later it's two for three. Jeter and Posada. Goes. Minnesota threatening. Up three two in the fifth. Man on first. Cordova to right. Brent Gates to first to third. Albert Bell. Gunned him down all the way in the air. Twins don't score in the inning. Now in the seventh, Jesse Orozco. Cruises in from the bullpen. Got some congratulations from Brady and Albert. And I think his son's They've had a few ball. celebrations of significance in Baltimore. Ripken, of course, and Orozco pitching in his 1,072 game. That is tops all time in the major leagues. His family is there, and uh, the Orioles win. Paul Konerko. Thanks.
They were down 3-2 in the bottom of the ninth, and he takes Percival out. We're tied at three, and we're going extras. Bottom 12, first and second. The always dangerous Frank Thomas delivers. It's all over. The White Sox in 12 win. A final score of 4-3. to three. I didn't notice a Ray Durham is, seems to always be scoring winning runs when... Somebody out. Fernando Tatis to third. Oh. Roland didn't come up with it. Bases loaded. Including, by the way, that was the pinch runner, Kenton Merker on third. It's Craig Paquette. You got to get over there. No. Game set. Mess for the Phillies as the Cardinals win. 6-5, and what's happened to Philadelphia? Craig Paquette went to the on that Pan Am team. Thanks, Peter. Well, he had problems tonight. He had been, gotten 63% of the leadoff hitters, but he had all sorts of mechanical problems. He hits Mike Cameron with a pitch in the shoulder in the first inning, led to two runs. Second inning, hits Aaron Boo to lead off the inning. Can't do that, so what do they do? They come out, look at Schmidt's finger, and then they bring out the big scissors and cut a blister off of it. He retired only two of the six leadoff batters. Let's talk about Larkin. Well, Barry Larkin has been such a leader for this team. Here he's on first base in the sixth. All right, fly ball, back to the warning track, but he takes off, gets to second, and then two batters later. Pokey Reese, but this guy's a wonderful player. Bangs a single to center field. That ties the game up at four and gives them a chance for some heroics. All right, would they get any? To the bottom of the 11th, 4-4, four, four, winning one on third. Jeffrey Hammond's trying to bring him in, but look at it, Sprague. That is some ups. Bottom 12, can anybody catch this off Chris Stein's bat? Don't think so. His second of the year, good enough for a 7-4. Four Reds win. Both his home runs have come as a pinch hitter. Barry Larkin, one for two with a triple. Benjamin goes two for five. The final in 12, the Reds, 7-4. They now go over 500 by two games at home for the first time since so way back in 1997. Puts a smile on old Jack McKeon's face. It's really nice to see Steins because he hadn't had much playing time, and uh, he's a kid that uh, really goes, gives you 100% every day always ready to play whenever you need him and boy he just jumped on the opportunity tonight didn't he and it was a slider it was a bit up um you know, just looking for just to hit a single there and um you know i luckily got a little more and ended up hitting out of the park good job out of chris because he has struggled mightily this season all right so we know the reds won what would the astros do percentage points behind cincinnati coming in in the central in the minor league. is uh, waiting on deck and he'd get a shot. Carl Everett had a bases loaded, uh, had a walk to load the bases. Caminetti brings him in. Barker and bagpipes also score. Safe at third, Everett. Astros are up by a run, 4-3. Biggio, yard work. Two run, home run. He's got 11 now. That comes off Rocky Coppinger. Astros double him up at 8-4. To the ninth, same score. Second and third run, Belliard. They're not going away. Jay Powell trying to get one get by him. It had eyes. Bank two scores. So does Valentin. Brewers six. down 2-8-6. And, and here comes Larry Durker. Powell done. Billy Wagner in. Billy Wagner. To get the last out, it's Alex well, Ochoa. Focusing just on Alex Pretty Ochoa good man right to bring now. in, Peter. We need one out, isn't he? Boy, is he? He's got that nice, slow delivery with that and great leg drive. And boy, that ball just jumps in on you. Billy Wagner winds so Wagner gets the job done. The Astros.